Hello, welcome to Fire Power Threat Defense Training Video Series. I am Nanda. In this video, I am going to talk about Bridge Group on Fire Power Threat Defense. Bridge Group is nothing but a virtual interface which comprises of one or more physical interface which logically divides as a network segment. As you could see here, this 192.168.1. network is being uh, segregated into inside and outside where you can create access control policy to control the traffic uh, between this inside network and the outside network though they are in the same IP domain. One of the use case of using bridge group is when you have an existing network where you already have either a firewall or a router and you uh, want to introduce a next gen firewall without any change in the logical network uh, of your network you can deploy the firewall five power threat defense as a trans uh, in the transparent firewall when you introduce a next gen firewall in a transparent mode you typically have an one a two interface associated in a branch group one act as an insight which is connected to your inside network and then a one interface with ethernet a two it's connected to the outside and these two interface being part of a bridge group um, acting as a transfer firewall all the inside network um, which was previously having a default gateway as 192.168.1.1 as the previous firewall or a uh, router will continue to be the same but you can have a access control policy defined on this an FTD 5 power threat defense which is a next gen firewall and define all the policies that you want to apply to this traffic without ever needs to change anything on the end host and this firewall will be a transparent firewall to the be it for the router or the firewall or the all the inside network let's see some of the characteristics of bridge group in five power thread defense as i said bridge group is a virtual interface and it need an ip address and you can have multiple bridge group within a firewall the maximum supported bridge groups are 256 bridge group per device you can have a logical name for a bridge group if it is a routed you can have a logical name and if it is a transparent firewall you cannot have a logical uh, logical name i'm going to uh, talk in detail about this logical in uh, logical name for the bridge group in a short while now each bridge group should have one or more member interface this member interface can be either a physical interface whether it can be an uh, either one or ethernet two or it can be a sub interface with a vlan it can be an ether channel interface also and it can have a redundant interface also be a member interface for a bridge group each member interface should have a logical name defined for uh, for the interface and it does not require an IP address uh, for each member interface the maximum number of uh, interface support uh, uh, supported per bridge groups are 64 let's summarize what you have seen in this slide a bridge group is a virtual interface and each bridge group should have an IP address you can have multiple bridge group on a device each bridge group will have an uh, one or more interface the member interface can be physical interface sub interface or either channel either channel or a redundant interface and each member interface should have an, a logical name defined for uh, for the interface now let's see the difference between having a bridge group in routed mode and a transparent firewall here i have a uh, uh, two firewall uh, one in tra transfer firewall mode and one is router mode um, in the transfer firewall I have, we have uh, three bridge group one is bridge group 10 bridge group 20 and bridge group 30 each has its own um, ip network segment now within bridge group 10 the clients can communicate between each member interface provided you have an access control policy however in transform firewall the traffic between bridge groups are not supported 
when you want to transmit that traffic from a bridge host uh, client from uh, bridge group 10 to 20 within five power thread defense it is not possible you need to have an external routing device uh, through which you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to transmit that tra traffic from bridge group 10 to 20 whereas when you have a bridge group in a routed mode in this example we have bridge group 10 and 20 and apart from that we have two routed interface one as outside and inside in when you define a bridge group in router mode it is possible that you can uh, route the traffic from bridge group 10 to bridge group 20 as well from a bridge group to a routed interface as you could see that see here in this example from uh, traffic can be passed from 10.10 uh, .10 12.1 which is bridge group 10 all the way till 10 10 10 11.1 which is uh, bridge group 20 and the bridge group 20 can uh, communicate to the inside in, uh, inside network which is 162.16.1 provided we have an access control policy and define a name for bridge group interface with this we have come to the end of this video i hope this video is informative to you See you soon in next video. Bye-bye.